Hi, I'm Nagar, and I'm going to be doing a four square on this question. First, you need to read the question. Explain why Mr. Parks may be a unique person. Use specific examples from the story and your own ideas to answer the question. And then you read the article. For many years, Mr. Parks has been teaching children at Deerford Public School. Each day, he arrives early in the morning and prepares exciting lessons for his students. Some lessons include popcorn volume, how to make an ice cream sundae, and the upcoming probability fair. In 2010, Mr. Parks won the Omni Television T Teacher of the Year Award, and in 2011, his class's EQAO scores were the highest in Toronto and resulted in Deer Park finishing in a tie for, for first in the Fraser Institute report. Outside of school, Mr. Parks keeps busy with a variety of different interests. He plays professional ball hockey, runs a volleyball league for teachers, tutors mathematics, collects sports cards, and works out regularly in the gym. Then you start to do your four square. You start with your topic sentence. My topic sentence is, Mr. Parks is a unique person. Then you state one of your arguments. He's unique because he takes the time to create exciting lessons for his students. Exciting was a quote in the article. Another argument is, his class's EQAO scores were the highest in Toronto. And then another argument is, outside of school, he finds the time to do a lot of things he's interested in. So my final paragraph would be, Mr. Parks is a unique person. He takes the time to create exciting lessons for, for his students every day, which not all teachers do. His class's EQAO scores were the highest in Toronto, which is a hard thing to achieve. He also finds the time outside of school to do a lot of things he's interested in. Some things he does is play professional ball hockey, run a volleyball league, tutor, collect sports cars, and go to the gym.